Live, we're the K3, and we are here to give you a 10 minute recap of Kingdom Season 1 in case you don't have enough time to rewatch it before Season 2 hits on Friday the 13th. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's get started. Here's a quick synopsis of what happened in Season 1. Our Crown Prince, Yi Chang, Basically, in a treasonous plot to overthrow the king, finds out that his father actually is probably not dead, is probably dead from smallpox, but there's some weird mystery type thing that is happening. He then ends up across the land to try and find the doctor who took care of said, said dad and turned him into a zombie. We then meet our little medical troop that basically was working with the doctor who turned dad into a zombie or the king into a zombie. And then we find out that all the people at this medical clinic are all zombies and they are rampaging all over Donghe through all the machinations of the palace, we find out that our, our chief left minister, he was in the know the whole time and turned the king into a zombie to make sure that his daughter, who is the second queen, gives birth to her baby, who we then find out she miscarried, so she's faking that pregnancy. Yes. We then have all these rampaging zombies that we think is only come out at night, but then we find at the end, oh, it has to do with the weather. Temperature. Mm -hmm. And I think... That is the quickest synopsis I could possibly give of Kingdom Season 1. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about some of our favorite yes. actors. So if you are new to K-dramas, there are some major stars in this yes. show. So we have Ju Ji Hoon, who plays our crown prince. Yes. And where did we leave Ju Ji Hoon, our crown prince, and kind of our lead of all of this at the end of Season 1, so you don't have to re-watch all of Season 1 if you are new to this? He is growing into the leader that yes. he is meant to be. Our crown prince, Yi Chang, is played by Ju Ji Hoon. And his allies are our physician, Sobi, played by Bei Duna, along with Mu Young, his guard, Young Shin, the sharpshooter, and Master An Hyun, who is still a bit of a mystery. So who is the mole? His enemies include Cho Hak Chu, the evil minister, his daughter, who is the queen, and, of course, the zombie horde. And he is standing there getting ready to fight the zombies. With the people. Right. But we find out that this is when they're all ready to fight them at night. There are no zombies at night for some reason. What happened? Yay, we won. The zombies aren't coming. And then they come through the morning mist and season one ends. What is about to happen? That was the craziest cliffhanger in the history of... They did. They made us wait uh, over a year. Oh, it was my terrible. gosh. That was crazy. It was terrible. And also, there is a mole close to the pr crown yes, prince. Yes, that is super key. Uh-huh. Super key, because he keeps giving information to our main bad guy. The head of the Heiwan Cho, Cho clan. Yes. The evil palace minister is played by Ru Sung Ryong as Cho Hak Ju. His allies are the zombie king, various palace ministers he has under his thumb, his daughter the queen, Master An Hyun, who's a bit of a mystery still, Cho Pampal, who is the local magistrate and a member of the Cho clan, and also the zombie horde. His enemies include Crown Prince Yi Chang, So Bi, and Young Shin. He basically is running all the palace machinations, including the daughter who is the queen, the queen regent. No, she's flat she's out the, the queen. She's the queen. She's mm -hmm. the queen. Yes. She's going to give birth, except she had a miscarriage. And she has got a whole stable of women who are pregnant that she is basically sponsoring to give birth to this baby boy that she is then going to basically take. And one of those pregnant women is the wife of Mu Young, who is, is he the mole? Is he He's the mole? He's the crown prince's bodyguard. Bodyguard. Right? So, and we're finding out when we look at the stable of women that are being sponsored by the queen, if you have a girl, you're kind of it's lights out. Done so it's bad. It. It's a bad situation, yes. right? And if you have a boy, God only knows what's going to happen to you. So our big bad, basically, he, what do you want to call it? Not quarantines, but it's kind of quarantines He's, his entire yes, region. He closes right? the gates. The gates. And goes riding in there to basically go after Ju Ji Hoon, our Yi Chang, our crown prince. Because right? he's got a couple zombies. A couple of zombies in his back pocket. <laughs> right? He's chained up in a box, basically. Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. And I wasn't sure. It was a little hazy, so I don't know what you thought. But did he unleash these zombies and then turn the entire village into more zombies and then send them after Ooh, I'm Yi Chang? I'm not sure. Because, you know, the thing with this show is sometimes things are spoken and yes. not seen. Yes. So. Hmm. So. We know that he knows that the zombies <laughs> only work at a certain time because he's got that knowing smile as the sun comes up and the mist is rising. He knows that the zombies are now going to attack our good guys who are trying to defend the area, right? That's right. Everyone else is shocked and surprised. Right? And he's just looking out into the horizon. He, so he knows. And while that's happening, we have Beiduna, who is our nurse, Sabi. She's over in the 
in the frozen, what was it frozen called? Frozen Valley. Frozen Valley. The physician Sobi is played by Bei Duna. Her allies include the crown prince Yi Chang, Young Shin, who is the sharpshooter, but also fed that soup to everybody, and magistrate Zhou Pan Pao. Her enemies are time because she's got to find the cure, plus the zombie horde. She's finally found the frozen valley and, and the resurrection yes. plant. So she's found it, and that's when she realizes it's the temperature. temperature. Yes. Not day and night. No. And this is where we left season one. Right. Moving into season two. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? What do you think are going to be the big plays? Oh, and we didn't even talk, talk about, about An Hyung. An Hyung. Oh, right. yeah. He is, I think, the most duplicitous of them all. Yes, because if you've seen King dramas, then mm -hmm. you know that he was the uh, serial killer father in Come and Hug Me. He's so good in that. So, it's terrifying. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so he often plays the bad guy. Yes. So it, initially, he seems like a good guy. He right. was the crown prince's former tutor? Tutor, yeah. Or ally. Yeah, for sure. When he was yeah. little and adorable. Right. <laughs> Right. The little hat that didn't quite fit his head. Know, was yes. Yes. So Anhyun is now, um, he's a former minister. He's in mourning. Mm -hmm. But he's got this like kick-ass crew of like soldiers in mourning with deadly aim with arrows. Yes. And seem to understand how the zombies work. So in one hand, we find out that he definitely has an alliance with our bad guy, uh, Cho Hyuk Ju. Yeah. But clearly has a loyalty to our crown prince, Yi Chang. Yes. So where does he fall on that? And he is at the wall with Yi Chang at the end of season one, getting ready to do battle against said zombies. Mm -hmm. But we don't know what's going to happen in season two. So I think he's going to be a key player as well. And the only other character that I think kind of is out there with not, we aren't really bit sure. Of a mystery. He's a bit of a mystery. He's kind of this like Rebel tiger hunter, for lack of a better description. Well, he's, he's an ace he's, shot. He is an ace shot. And they say only those who were, were recruited to fight tigers are this good. Like, there was a whole story about that. And so he was in this elite troop that yes. was able to, and, but we don't really know. He's the one who fed the zombie to all of the people. Did he, I don't think he knew about it. No, he didn't. But he is, he is a survivalist. And so he will pretty much. It, sound, it looks like he's got a, quite a backstory with a lot of trauma, a lot of K-drama yeah. tragedy backstory. <gasps> so he's definitely he's definitely going to be a player. He seems to have a loyalty to Yi Chang and to Sabi. So, yeah. so, you know, it's going to be interesting to see where he falls in all that. But he definitely right now is Team Crown Prince. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think... That gets you up to speed on That's season right. one if you don't have six hours to watch it before season two starts, uh, that it starts. It lands all on Friday. Mm -hmm. We obviously, as you can tell, cannot wait. No kidding. At all. But is there a total of three seasons? I actually just read an article where the writer wants to, she's like, I love this show so much. She's like, I would do 10 seasons. We just need investors. So people, let's get on that. Let's make this one of the most popular dramas ever on Netflix, where Netflix will give it 10 seasons. Yes, please. So good. <gasps> right? Yes. I would love it. So definitely, they de for sure, it sounds like they want a season three. Um, but, you know, she definitely is, is already thinking about uh, season two. Oh, we're so excited for season <sighs> two. So that is what we know about season one mm -hmm. to date with our rewatches for you. And yes. we have season two starting on Friday. So in your comments below, let us know. We actually want to do an after chat about this. So Live. Live. So we need to know if you want to do it in chunks, if you want to do the whole thing, if you want to wait a week. Like, give us what works best for you because we know we're going to have some thoughts and want to <laughs> share some fun with you. So let us <laughs> Let us know in the comments below, okay? We'll see you next time. We're the K3. I'm Jen. I'm Marisa. And you can check out all of what we do on weekly watch list right here. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.